geometrically, what does it mean to say that a function is differentiable at a point? We say a function is differentiable at a point if its derivative exists at that point. And we also know that geometrically, the derivative corresponds to the slope of a tangent line. So, graphically, a function is differentiable at a point if a tangent line exists at that point on the curve except only when it's a vertical tangent line. If it's a vertical tangent at a point, like here, then obviously the derivative does not exist at that point. Because we know the slope of a vertical tangent line, or any vertical line for that matter, does not exist. But let's just look at the point where the tangent line exists and it's not a vertical line. There's not a single universally accepted definition of a tangent line at a point. Normally, we all think of it as a line that just touches the point on the curve. Well, roughly, I want you to build this picture of it in your mind. Imagine when we zoom into the vicinity of that point, what we will observe is the graph in its nearby region on both sides approximates into one big straight line, then that line is almost as good as tangent line at that point. And if it's not a vertical line, then its slope exists and hence the function is differentiable at that point. We are going to cling on to this particular visual notion of differentiability at a point for the rest of the video. This will help us in our ultimate task to better understand an important existing relation between continuity and differentiability. Now before stating that, let's mug up our knowledge on continuity again from a geometrical point of view. What you see on your screen is a very disconnected looking graph at some function. We know from our videos on continuity that this is a graph of a discontinuous function. In fact, this is the exact same graph we've used in the introduction of continuity videos. More specifically, this graph represents a particular type of discontinuity called the jump discontinuity. Another type is called infinite discontinuity, but we will see that in a moment. x1, x2 and x3 are the three points of the discontinuities in this particular graph. At these values, the corresponding points on the curve are disconnected from the portion from the left or the right or even from both sides. So my question to you is, is the function whose graph we are looking at differentiable at x1, x2 and x3? Can we approximate the graph near x1 into a straight line? Well, maybe yes, but it seems we can do it only from one side, that is, in its right neighbourhood. The function is defined in the immediate left neighbourhood of this point, but it's defined somewhere else. This point is not connected with the graph on the left. We cannot approximate the graph near this point by a single straight line on both sides of the point. So, at x1, function is not differentiable. At x2, again for the same very reason, the function is not differentiable. At x3, we cannot approximate in any neighbourhood. We can't define a tangent at an isolated point. So in general, at points of discontinuities of this type, the function is not differentiable. In fact, not only in this type, basically the function is not differentiable at a point of discontinuity of any type. Here's an example of infinite discontinuity at point x1. Again, we can approximate the function by a straight line only in the immediate left neighbourhood of this point on the curve. As we approach x1 from the right, the function shoots to negative infinity. So can we generalise from these observations and say that if a function is not continuous at a point, it's also not differentiable at that point? Yes, that's right. We came to this conclusion from the simple observations. So continuity at a point is a necessary condition for the function to be differentiable at that point. However, it's not a sufficient condition. And what do I mean by that? We will continue that in the next part of the video. Do subscribe to our channel to stay connected on our future uploads. And as always, stay smart, stay curious.